We are with Matt Muir, a first year student at the Academy uh, here at Oakson Town. Uh, let's get to know you a little bit, Matt. How would you describe yourself as someone who hasn't met you before? Uh, I would say that I'm quite a hard working person. I'm determined to try anything. I'll give it a go. Uh, I'm very passionate about what I do uh, and I like to try my best in everything that I do. So what do you, what do you get up to in, in your spare time? Have you got a, a job outside of the academy? Have you got any further hobbies outside uh, I play for two charity teams uh, outside of Ilkeston uh, that raise money for different charities. One is uh, HDB Magpies and the other is Eastwood Elite. They raise money for different charities every time, playing the game against a different team to raise money for either the other team or a select charity at the start of the game. I do help out with my dad's business. My dad owns his own brewery, not, not so far away from the ground. Uh, I help out there delivering beer, obviously with the current circumstances, it's takeaway only, so I help out with the deliveries. Uh, other than that, I sometimes go out walking, running. Other than that, it's football for me. If I'm playing or watching, one of the two, it's got to be football all the way. Yeah, we're coming up to the third month now at, at the academy. How would you say you've found the first couple of months uh, in education? So uh, I've really, I've really enjoyed it. it. It's been good from from what I've done with obviously doing my GCSEs, choosing PE, but also doing other subjects. When it's based around football altogether, it's it's much more interesting. You learn about different aspe aspects of the game. And you learn more about the game. People think, oh, it's just education, you learn. And this actually helped me within games, watching players actually do stuff within games or how you're supposed to Im improve something. Doing that has actually benefited me within the, the football side of it. So it's not just pen and paper. And it's not just a pen and paper with the education, it's laptops in research. And it's, it's not as education as you think it is from school. It's not sat down, listen to the teacher, you have, you have a choice. It's, it's much better. Yeah. How would you say you found a transition from junior football to uh, academy football, going from one or two hours training a week to uh, eight or maybe ten now? It's it's tough, but your body's got to adapt to it. If you're going to become a professional footballer, then you need to be able to train for quite a few hours a week to get better at things. But I think it's helped me massively. We're going from training for one or two hours a week to then increasing it. I think it's improved me as a footballer. I've been working on one set thing at a time and making sure that I can correct that, my passing, my shooting, my crossing, my throw-ins and things like that, making it better that way. It, it does improve you as a player. So on a, on a personal note, what would you like to get out of the uh, academy as a whole uh, going into adult life? Uh, for me personally, becoming a footballer is what I've always dreamt of being from being a little kid thinking, oh, I want to be a footballer, I want to be on the front of a newspaper, front of a magazine, walking out of a tunnel with 20,000 people, applauding and cheering. It, it, the, thing, the feeling that that's, I've got a chance to do that has been amazing for me. I came into the trial thinking, well, maybe I might, maybe I'm not, and I got into the, the academy. And it's been the best experience for me. Uh, however, with the football, if it's not something that's possible, Coaching, maybe becoming a manager or a trainer, that's another outlet for me. Or maybe becoming a physio, that's something that I'm interested in doing as well. Yeah. So how has the uh, lessons in the education helped you with, again, the skills and the knowledge in, in the coaching side and the physio side as well? When you're, when you're learning about the way that certain people do it, uh, things, for example, we watch videos on Ronaldo and how he improves as a player. and. You can see him where he's playing in the pitch back, pitch black, and he knows exactly where the ball is. So watching that, you're thinking, well, how does he do that? And it shows you how he does it, what training methods he uses. And so by using that, I've improved myself. So he can strike a ball without even knowing where it is. Whereas I'm not really as good at that. Obviously, not comparing myself to Ronaldo. Obviously, I'm not that good. But when you think about it, well, I've got better at doing that. Then you train. Well, I'm not very good with my aerial stuff. Uh, maybe I could improve on how to get up to head the ball, watch videos on that and how to improve your aerobic endurance. With the coaching and physio side, uh, you should you be able to look at it from a, a manager's point of view and a coach's point of view, along with the physio and how you can fix things and how you avoid injury. That's, that's a major thing for me. Uh, what would you say is something you've taken from the academy which isn't football or uh, education related but maybe some life skills which 
uh, you've maybe implemented into your uh, everyday life? Uh, I think passion and determination is, is definitely something from there. Uh, being able to think, well, I'm going to get this work done and I'm going to get it done tonight. We're having the determination to do that. I wasn't the sort of person that would get the work done straight away, yeah, put it off. Whereas with being in the academy and doing the education, I've become determined to do that. So finally, if someone came up to you and was like, what is it, Ilkeson Town Academy? Why is it for me? Why should I go? How would you describe it to someone who maybe isn't quite aware of uh, the extras that you get, just not football and education? It's it's probably the best thing I've ever done. Coming here, it's such a family atmosphere. You come into coming into a football club where everyone knows everyone. You see the first team players and they're asking you if you're all right. They know your name. The owners, they're such nice people. They look after you. They they sort you out if you have any problems. For me, anyone that's interested in football, that has a slight interest in football, coming here would be the best opportunity for them, I think, personally. It's one of the, the best local teams for the category, I think. Uh, and you get to play football at a very nice ground with some very nice features. So it's definitely something that I think you should consider if, uh, if you're thinking about joining a football team. All right, Mark, thank you. Cheers.